Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Sweet Peas Southern Home. My name is Christy. Today, we're doing another pumpkin recipe. We're gonna make some cheesecake stuff cookies. So, I did get started on this, at least putting some th stuff together before I started the video, because it's quite a lot of, there's a couple of steps, not that many ingredients, but a couple of steps. So, um, I made the filling already and I will show you that in just a minute, but I'm holding, um, I need four egg yolks and all my girls are laying their pretty colors this time of the year. So, um, I was just gonna, uh, show you this part of it first. So in my bowl right here, I have two cups of butter. I have, um, one cup of packed dark brown sugar and two cups of granulated sugar and a cup and a half of pumpkin puree. So to this, I need to, I'm gonna start this mixing and I need to add my egg yolks to it and we're just gonna mix that together really well. So let me, uh, <laughs> just making sure my eggs aren't gonna run away from me. Let me get my bowl on here. I hope y'all are having a nice day. It is Halloween today. I, um, we're not really doing anything. But... I wanted to make a double batch of these cookies so that I could freeze them and um, have them for the holidays because it's, this is my first time making them, but I can tell you it's going to be tedious because <laughs> you have to fill each cookie. So um, I thought, well, I'm just going to do this one time. So I'm going to cut this on and I'm going to get my eggs separated real quick. Okay, I've got my egg yolks here. I'm just going to slowly add these in and mix it up. We are hoping for some rain here today. I don't think it has rained this entire month of October. And my garden definitely needs it. And so do my trees. <laughs> Wipe down the sides. Give it one more quick mix. And I'm gonna leave that right there. So that is all of our wet ingredients and I will bring you over here and show you the filling. Um, before I get the filling out, um, my mixer will not hold <laughs> uh, a double batch of this. So, and the recipe, I forgot to say, will be linked down below and it will be a single batch. But I have um, seven and a half cups of flour right here. And I have, uh, this is my, all the dry ingredients. So flour, baking soda, baking powder, salt, and two tablespoons of pumpkin pie spice that I'm gonna mix in. And then I can move this out of the way. So I just whisk everything together, kind of break up any lumps that are in there. We can move that out of the way for the moment and I will show you the cream cheese mixture. So this is two blocks of cream cheese. It is three fourths of a cup of sugar, granulated sugar, three tablespoons of sour cream and a teaspoon of vanilla. Now, um, my cream cheese, I had to warm up in the microwave a little bit. So I went ahead and mixed this up and stuck it in the refrigerator. But what the recipe tells you to do is to take a baking sheet lined with parchment paper 
and to drop two tablespoons in a time onto the baking sheet and then place it in the freezer. So that's what I'm gonna do. That's why I wanted to get started on this because these take some extra time. We're gonna freeze all of these little dollops of cream cheese and I'm just eyeballing it. I'm not, I want these to be bigger cookies, kind of like uh, the kinds you get from bakeries. Um, so I'm not being uh, real careful about exactly measuring out. I cannot believe that tomorrow is November 1st already. Are any of y'all ready for Christmas? Because I am not. <laughs> I think I bought one Christmas gift and we also have a lot of um, December birthdays in our family, so. doesn't look like it's going to make as much filling as I will have cookie dough, but we shall see. All of this uh, filling is not going to fit on one baking sheet, but I don't really have a lot of extra ones, and I'm not baking all of them today. I just want to get all of them put together. So, I'm going to put the filling back in the refrigerator. I'm gonna take, whoop, I'm gonna take this and go put it in my freezer. And then we will mix up the, um, the actual cookie part. Okay, well I have to say I'm surprised. I did not think that my mixer would hold all of it. But I thought there's no way I feel like <laughs> mixing uh, all of that by hand. Now, um, the recipe doesn't say to do this, but since I just put the cream cheese filling in the freezer, I'm going to put this dough in the refrigerator for a little while because you need to be able to roll it out. And I think it's just too sticky. I think it would help if it was cooler and I'm not ready. I don't wanna just leave it out on the counter because unfortunately, uh, here in South Louisiana, we are still having 90 degree days. And although it's not that hot today, it's very humid. And because I had thought about trying to make some bread today, but it's just, it's very humid. I don't, I didn't want to fool with it. So I'm going to just put some plastic wrap over this, put it in the refrigerator for a little while. And when our, um, cream cheese is frozen and this is, um, cooled off some, we'll come back and we'll actually put the cookies together. Okay, got me some gloves because I have a feeling this is gonna be messy. I've um, just turned my oven on 350 and I'm gonna get these rolled up. I just got my uh, cream cheese um, blobs out of the freezer and my cookie dough out of the refrigerator. So this is cinnamon and sugar that we're going to roll them in. And I'm just going to take a pretty good size ball of this cookie dough and just flatten it out. Take one of the cream cheese, put it in the middle. Make sure I cover it up really well with the dough. And we're gonna put it in the cinnamon sugar coat it. I'm just going to flatten it out just a little bit 
and put it on the cookie sheet. So we will see how this goes. I think I'm only gonna be able to fit six on this cookie sheet. Like I said, I knew I, I knew that um, these would make big cookies. I'm okay with that. The recipe says to bake them for, um, I think 11 to 13 minutes. Mine will likely take longer. <laughs> but that is okay. They're giant. <laughs> um, I'm gonna put these in my oven and we're gonna cut a pumpkin. put this dough back in the refrigerator. So I did, um, let me bench down some. I did a little bit of research on this pumpkin and some of the um, things that I saw said that it's a type of spaghetti squash. But either way, I have plenty of pumpkin and I wanted to give some to the animals today. So we're gonna try to cut this. I had this one out and this will be the next one that I cook because it's got this area where it's healed over whatever happened while it was growing. But um, I think that this one might not keep as long as the other ones. And I, I don't wanna lose another um, pumpkin. I was just checking it over just to make sure. So let's cut this one and see what's in it, what it looks like, because we're gonna give this to the pigs and the chickens today, if I can get in it. Oh gosh, it didn't look that hard. <laughs> oh my goodness, this thing is no joke. Mm -hmm. I might have to actually go get. <sighs> okay, I'll just cut some of this because no fingers were harmed. <laughs> this was a tough one and it does not look like a spaghetti squash to me on the inside, but that's okay. Like I said, I'm going to give this to the animals and I'm gonna have to cut it again before I do it so that I'll have two pieces for the pigs, but the chickens will likely take them a few days to try to get into, this is a hard pumpkin, very firm on the inside. It's a light. Well, okay, I would say, <laughs> I'm gonna bring you down. Okay. That's my hand. Sorry. <laughs> These are way too big. Like they're bigger than I meant for them to be. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to um, rethink the size of them. But anyway, uh, they're, it's way too hot to taste now. I'll leave uh, in the description box down below. I'll, when Denny gets home, we'll give it a taste test. Um, I'm going to call it quits here for today so I can go feed the animals before it starts raining. Uh, the recipe, look, I already can't, <laughs> I cannot get over how big they are. Goodness gracious. Like, <laughs> let me see if I can hold this up. I'm not sure if the camera's doing that justice. It's the size of my head, half of the size of my head. Anyway, they smell really good and I'm sure they taste good because I tasted the dough. <laughs> so I know they taste good. Um, if you give them a try, let me know. When I go to make the rest of them, I'm gonna make them half of that size is what I really meant for them to be. But um, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Y'all have a blessed day, bye.